everyone and welcome back to my channel or if this is new to you and I'm new to you then I'm Charlotte. I make videos on here quite a lot. In fact it's my job and I've got two kids, uh, Bill who is nearly five and Daisy who has just turned one year old. This video is one that I actually did like a bit of a shout out on uh, Twitter earlier today about you know I fancy doing a makeup video. A few people have been asking anyway so would you like to see this recent look that you've been asking about hopefully you enjoy it and it gives you a little bit of makeup inspiration so without any further ado brace yourselves because the next clip is going to be me with no makeup on so i'm going to start with moisturizer and this is the first aid beauty ultra repair cream and i got this while we were at walt disney world and i absolutely love it it's just so moisturizing and it's really gentle and sensitive and my skin really likes it sometimes especially with sleep deprivation having like two children having like quite a busy lifestyle at home i feel like i look really tired so i was doing some searching for a primer and this is the laura mercier radiance foundation primer and i feel like it changed my life honestly when i put it on it looks like nothing it's like a skin colored slightly pearlescent um liquid like creamy liquid and i just pop that all over my face and rub it into the skin and you don't really notice it i would say when you know you've just put it on like this but i feel like when i'm actually all done and i've got my foundation on there's just this radiant like sort of pregnancy glow almost and i definitely am not pregnant so it's one of those like i feel like it's pregnancy glow in a bottle and i absolutely love it so i rub that into my skin as well and then i'm going to go on to foundation and if you've watched me before at least makeup wise anyway um i only use one foundation i'm absolutely sold to it i don't think i could bear to use anything else again and it's the ysl two chicla um foundation and i'm the shade b50 at the moment and i just love it it is so glowy it's not too high coverage which i don't really like i like to not be too perfect because i do get spots and i do have some imperfections on my face um and i don't want to completely mask all of that now i use my fingers um because i wash them before i apply makeup and i just enjoy the way that they warm the product into my skin i I don't mind brushes, I used to use them all the time, but I just prefer doing this this way. And then after I've done that, I'm going to go in with concealer. And I have a few concealers that I really enjoy using, but the two I'm going to use today are a Clarins one, Under My Eyes, which I've spoken about before. And then I recently got the Too Faced um, Born This Way concealer while I was in um, at Disney World again at the Sephora there at Disney Springs. And I'm really enjoying using it. It's just got a doe foot applicator. I probably would say... But while I have a tan, it's probably slightly too light for me. Um, because I fake tanned a couple of days ago. Um, but I usually put that on my problem areas, which is high, <laughs> um, around my nose. And like any spots that I've got, I've got a couple of my chin. And sometimes my forehead. I used to have a strawberry birthmark there when I was a baby. And sometimes when I get a little bit stressed and worked up, I can see like where it used to be. And I, I do get a little bit of discoloration there. It's very strange. Um, I'm just going to work that into my skin lightly with my finger. Yeah. This is the... Um, clarins instant concealer by the way and i've raved about this before in like favorite videos and i think i've used it in another video before um that powder was the rimmel stay matte in transparent if you were wondering you use that all the time and next up i'm going to use the charlotte tilbury um film star bronze and glow and i'm going to use the sculpt shade to contour and i'm in love with this when i first got it i thought it was good but the more i've used it the more i absolutely love it so excuse the fish face so i'm just working this gently into the skin with my 
Real Techniques contour brush. Um, so with blush, I'm going to use this, which is a very battered looking. You can tell how loved it is. Um, it's a Bobbi Brown brightening blush in pink truffle. And in the pattern, it doesn't look like much, but on the skin, you just look so glowy and bright it's a really nice one for this time of year and the summer as well i think and i got this with my christmas money if i remember and this is the thing with makeup i do have some high-end products but what i do is that i tend to you know save up for things and really research something that i want and then i buy it and i know that i can put trust in it which is why i like you know youtube videos and blog reviews um i'm just going to put this lightly on my cheeks so as you can tell that doesn't really do loads and loads to your cheeks so it's quite a natural colour and it's like um, sort of a warm flush that my skin would probably go anyway if I blushed or you know exercised which I don't. Um, now next up I'm going to go with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. Now this is um, an eyeshadow primer and it looks really dull in the pot but it just makes your eyeshadow last that little bit longer. And then the shades that I've really been enjoying using aren't actually from a palette and they are two MAC um, eyeshadows that I haven't got that many of anymore I've got to say I used to love MAC above all else but now I seem to be an Urban Decay kind of girl and I've got two shades here this one is All That Glitters and this one is Bold and Brazen and you can see All That Glitters is like a champagne-y pink colour and this is more of a I would say like a gentle sort of muted copper shade um but you could find these shades they're very very popular at the moment like you could find them in you know the drugstore quite easily i think something similar um and what i'm going to do is take bold and brazen which is that more coppery shade and i'm going to start by working this through my crease so what i tend to do is that i pack the color on and then i blend a little bit and this is quite quick makeup bearing in mind that yes i do like makeup but i also have two children so i don't have that much time to blend but i am quite well practiced at doing this now um so i'm gonna do that on the other eye as well and i'm only going to use these two colors today because you know i don't want to do anything too heavy or that takes too long and i think they look great just as they are to be honest so that's the first shade on and I really like this particularly I think if you have green or blue eyes because the ready tones in the copper are going to bring out those colours even more. Although that said it would look absolutely beautiful on brown eyes as well. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a more like flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take all the glitters and pat that on to my lid. So now I've done that, you can see that already the look's looking a little bit more glowy, isn't it? And I'm going to go in next with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I I don't mind this liner. I, th I honestly do think it could be more pigmented. People go on about how, like, dark it is, but either mine's running out. I've just never really been that impressed by it. But I'm just going to quickly line my lids and then we can crack on with eyebrows and stuff like that next. So that is eyeliner done and it's nothing too dramatic, nothing too thick or heavy, it's just, I don't know, I'm really used to wearing eyeliner these days and sometimes when I feel like if I don't wear it, particularly with like eyeshadow on, um, my eyes kind of get a little bit lost because I've got quite, my eyes are green but they're actually quite a pale green and sometimes I feel like I need to make them stand out a little bit more if that makes sense. So, so next up, I always do my eyebrows, I do my mascara and my lips and my highlight last don't ask me why it's just the way we, i do it everyone does things differently don't they but this is benefits gimme brow and i absolutely love it i used to quite carefully fill in my brows with like a brow brush and stuff and the anastasia brow dip brow pomade or whatever it's called but this has sort of changed my life and it's so quick and easy so i'm just gonna make sure that my brows are sort of facing the right way before I do this but it's just a little tiny brush filled with super tiny fibres and it's a lovely ashy colour this one and I just brush through my brows and fill them in a bit and thicken them up they are in quite good condition now when I was younger for some reason like we all do i decided to pluck the buggery out of them and ruin them temporarily but i have let them grow out um for a good few years now and they have a great shape to the point where 
you know, some days, if I'm in a rush before the school run, because I don't wear makeup like this every day, don't get me wrong, um, I don't even fill them in or do anything to them and they're not too bad. So for mascara, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Um, I've only recently got this. This was another Sephora purchase. Um, I saved up some pennies to sort of take with me on holiday and treat myself. So um, this is really, really good. I really like it. I'm really enjoying it at the moment. Another mascara I recommend if you are in the market for one and you want it to be slightly cheaper is the L'Oreal Miss Hippie. I absolutely love this as well. I think it's cracking. So I'm just going to pop this on my lashes. Now the lipstick I'm using today is Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk and I have been umming and ahhing over this for the past few weeks and I decided to go for it because um, I've been working really hard this month and I just, you know when you can't stop thinking about something so I went for it and it is absolutely gorgeous and so worth the investment. So that is that on and the only thing I'm missing now is highlights. I'm going to go back to the Charlotte Tilbury um, Film Star Bronze and Glow again. I got that name right. And I'm going to take the highlight this time and I'm just going to pop that wherever the light would naturally hit my face. And I also like to take a little bit of my finger and dot it in my inner corners as well. So that's the finished look. I curled my hair with a rotating curling iron like wand and I've done a video on how I do that before so I'll leave that link down below if you'd like to see how I've done this. And yeah I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a new one for me and I don't normally do stuff like this mainly because I've got two children climbing over me all the time but they are actually out today at the zoo with their grandparents so I've got this very rare opportunity to get lots of work done and that sort of thing so I hope you like it Um if you did give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below just so I know to do some more for you and yeah thank you so much for watching I will hopefully see you back very soon and have a lovely day bye